Welcome to the den! Yay! New room! Uh, so why am I here? While I was gone, Mom decided to take up meditating. Yes, you heard me right. Meditating. And don't get me wrong, I'm all for her trying to find some sort of inner peace. I think we all are. But guess which daughter's room got turned into her new sanctuary? Yep. It's difficult not to take this as a not-so-subtle hint to move out and move on. FYI, Jane's room is now a sewing room. My bed is still there, but my books and desk are gone, replaced by an aquarium full of tropical fish and seahorses. Because that's tranquil. But here I am, in the den. Of all the rooms in the house, I figured it had the best view of the hallway to the stairs, so at least... My name is Izzy Bennett, and if you think I'm distracting myself until Lydia shows up, you're right. So Lydia isn't answering my calls or texts, and she hasn't been home all day. Mom and dad are out, but they don't know where she is either. All mom said was, she's been spending a lot of time with that lovely swimmer lately. Hopefully soon they'll be making tiny swimmers of their own. I wish I was kidding, but at least it's obvious mom and dad don't know. Jane swamped getting ready for fashion week. I have no idea if she's been talking to Lydia, but I'm going to assume the fact that I haven't received any frantic phone calls from her means that she doesn't know. And if Jane doesn't know, and Mom and Dad don't know, it means there's a chance I can talk to Lydia and get her to take this site down before things get any more out of hand. I can't believe this is happening. This is my little sister. My baby sister. I can still remember her asking me to help her pick out an outfit for her very first date. She was excited, but... Nervous. <laughs> so nervous. And now she's... I don't even know. I don't know how George talked her into this. I tried to watch some of the videos she made with him, and honestly, I couldn't get through one. Let's face it, George has a history of convincing smart women to do dumb things. I know how charming he can be, and then he's manipulating her. Hopefully, I can convince her to stand up to him. Should we have seen this coming? Just call me when you get a chance, okay? I know you're busy, I just miss you. Lydia? You're back. Where have you been? I, I've been trying to call you all day. Um, with Mary and in class, being responsible. Can we talk? Not interested. Please? We haven't talked in weeks. I'll, I'll turn the camera off. No, leave it on. Anything you have to say to me, you can say in front of everyone. I mean, this is how we have most of our conversations now, right? Fine. You want to put everything on the internet? What's one stupid little conversation, right? God, you never stop, do you? This isn't about me. This is about you. How on earth could you possibly think this was a good idea? What are you talking about? I know, okay? I know about George. What goes on between me and George is none of your business. You're making it everyone's business. <laughs> he said you wouldn't understand. Can't you just be happy for me for once? Have you lost your mind? I know how persuasive he can be, but what were you thinking? You know the internet is forever, right? I mean, this is gonna follow you for the rest of your life. You may not care now, but... Lydia? This is a j joke, right? What? <laughs> it's a joke. You were... George... Somebody... It's a joke. You didn't know? Oh my god. No, no, no. This is not real. This is... This is not happening. He would never... He loves me. He loves me. This isn't... I am... Lydia. I am... Uh... No. 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 